What's up, guys? I'm Chris Eaton from Snakes and the Fat Man over on the Fat Man Nation. All right, full disclosure here. Uh, Redline is a sponsor of mine. However, Redline did not ask me to do this video. Morph Market used to sponsor me as well when they were good and also did not ask me to do this video. I do want to bring up something right off the bat. If you're the type of customer that it's important for you to save 30 or $50 on the sale of an animal and it means so much to you, then you are not the buyer or seller that I want to deal with from the get-go. I actually think that there's room for a white glove service provider in the reptile shipping space and uh, that spot is being filled by Redline. You will not get that kind of white glove service with Morph Market. There is a lot more to live animal shipping than slapping a label on a box. And specialized companies that focus exclusively on live shipments, uh, they exist for a reason. You guys already know what Robin at Redline does. Uh, he, he has experience, I mean, I mean years of experience in shipping live animals. Uh, he, he has years of experience working with FedEx directly. He has years of contacts with the higher ups over at FedEx. He has years of developing the best customer service that the hobby's ever seen. And he's had years to develop the best UI and UX in the hobby. I, I, I don't really need to go into all the details that have already proved that Robin provides that white glove service to, uh, to a community that, let's face it, sometimes doesn't deserve it. Here's the part that I will get into, and this is the part that, that really you, you can't define by monetary value. And, and remember, this is my opinion only. Both of these guys have done a lot for the hobby and the reptile community, okay? The only difference is that when Robin at Redline does something good for the community, I hear it from other people. When Darian from Morph Market does something for the community, I hear about it from Darian. The guy is constantly patting himself on the back. I, I know that Darian is just dying to be recognized as somebody of importance in the reptile space. And I know that the worst thing in the world for him is not to be acknowledged. I also think that Redline came into the community already executing at a very high level. Uh, again, that's because Robbins had years of experience doing this. Darian over at Morph Market came into the community w without ever really executing at all. He, he, he came in standing on the shoulders of the brilliant people that came before him and basically just bought a platform and then immediately started bad-mouthing the people that helped create that platform. I, I mean, I, I saw a video the other day uh, that was explaining that the only reason that people are not going to use Morph Market for shipping is that uh, people just don't like Darian. And he's like, I don't know, I don't understand why people don't like uh, Darian. That is a conundrum. I don't get it. You know exactly why people don't like him, okay? He came into the hobby with an asshole online persona, pissing off the people that literally were directly responsible for the success of the site that he just bought. I, I, I see a lot of tech envy with this guy, but historically, he's never executed well. He's always released products or services months too early for them to even have a shot at being a success. Here's my proof. He wanted to be Amazon, so he came in and bought Morph Market. That's okay. It's his money. He could buy what he wants. He basically turned Morph Market into the Walmart of reptiles. He tried to be Facebook with that failed cold-blooded thing. Didn't work. He tried to be eBay with the auctions. That worked maybe a little. Uh, I think about 20% of the people that I know listed their animals on the Morph Market auctions. And I, yeah, about 20% got the minimum amount of what they would have taken uh, for the animal. But, you know, 20% does not a good business model make. And he's trying to be Amazon again now with the shipping thing. None of these things were executed at a high level. Certainly not as high as Redline coming into the hobby. I understand what Morph Market is trying to do. They're trying to put everything under one umbrella 
So it's basically like a one-stop shop, right? But, but how about a little beta testing of the products or service before you release them, all right? Maybe a little beta testing? A little, little, little bit of beta testing? Uh, look, all I'm saying is at the end of the day, Redline consistently performs to the highest level when uh, shipping live animals are involved. I I've shipped everything from live animals to regular everyday items with them. And they've consistently, and I mean consistently, uh, got the job done with zero problems. Uh, plus, w w what's with this limit of $250 in insurance that Morph Market is restricting you to? Uh, but, but I guess that doesn't matter if your $5,000 ball python shows up dead. I mean, I won't worry about it. They, they, they do have email support. Listen, guys. If you actually get the jokes that we're trying to do here and you realize that you could love a hobby yet simultaneously recognize the hypocrisy and the ridiculous aspects of that hobby, you're the exact kind of person we want subscribed to our channel. We encourage you to hang around, watch some videos, and if you like what you see there, subscribe to the Fat Man Nation YouTube channel. If you want even more of our non-PC honest takes on the hobby, then please consider becoming a member of the Patreon family. For as little as $5 a month, you'll get access to exclusive Patreon-only videos with no commercials, access to exclusive contests only available to Patreon members, exclusive merchandise, plus you get access to extra live streams every month like the uh, open Zoom call for Reptiles Keepers and the Fat Man Nation Discord. Patreon people are the reason that this thing keeps forging ahead and honestly, every show that we do here on the Fat Man Nation is dedicated to them. I love the community that we're building there. Take it easy, guys.